healthcare sector has certainly been in the spotlight. Biopharma in particular, today we're going to talk about the oncology vertical of cancer treatment. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us at the NASDAQ Market Site. Tell us what Prescience Labs does in the area of oncology. So Prescience Labs is a company that was formed actually in 2008 as an offshoot of an invention that was created at Johns Hopkins. Uh, and the company is focused on targeting a specific pathway in cancer. In fact, a key hallmark of cancer, which is its reliance on glucose metabolism for energy production. So our drug targets a specific enzyme, a key enzyme in glucose metabolism pathway that eventually uh, leads to complete energy shutdown and eventually tumor cell death. Right, so let me ask you a question as a layperson who yes. is not in the biopharma field. When it's targeted specifically, it's more efficient in cancer treatment and it wreaks less havoc on the body because it's not attacking all cells, including healthy cells. It's targeting the specific area like liver or pancreatic cancer, for example. Is that yes. correct? Yes, that, that is absolutely correct. I mean, the, the new trend in uh, cancer drug therapy uh, is specifically to address uh, the specific issues in, in cancer. Uh, and so what that means is that if you can directly uh, kill the cancer cells and uh, preserve the healthy tissue, uh, you have accomplished two goals. Uh, the first goal, which is obviously to get rid of the cancer, uh, and the second one is to make sure that the healthy tissue is not damaged. Right. So this approach uh, is exactly in line with this concept, uh, whereby our drug uh, targets the cancer cells and essentially leave the normal cells completely uh, unaffected. Uh, and, and this is one of the key benefits uh, of this approach. Right, so is this, how is it differentiated from other oncology companies? Is this technology specific to this type of drug? Uh, it is because uh, most of the companies right now are involved in a concept called immuno-oncology, right. uh, trying to boost uh, the immune system to combat the cancer cells. Uh, ours is actually very different uh, in that we are basically using the in inherent properties of cancer, again, that reliance on generating energy in a very different way from normal cells to actually kill them. So it's a sort of uh, uh, interest, in, very interesting uh, new mechanism uh, that has been known forever. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the key uh, scientists who discovered this pathway uh, received the Nobel Prize for that invention and right. discovery. Uh, and so that's what we're doing. We're basically using that uh, method to actually kill the cancer cells in a very specific manner. So what are some milestones we can expect from pre-science labs? So the first milestone is uh, obtaining an IND, which is an investigational new drug application from the FDA mm -hmm. uh, that would allow us to initiate clinical studies. Uh, we have actually two formulations of the drug. It's a little bit complicated, but we have two formulations of the drug. One that we already obtained an IND for, uh, which is one that we are actually using for liver cancer in a local regional fashion. So we're actually using the blood flow to the liver tumors to actually kill them. So that approach was already approved by the FDA uh, and allowed us to essentially start clinical studies. Right. But knowing full well that cancer is a systemic disease, we could not use that old formulation to treat the cancer outside the liver. So we need to essentially find a way to protect the drug. And here it's not because the drug does not target the cancer cells, but it's because the drug is relatively fragile and we had to find a way to protect it. So we found an envelope, so to speak, right. that allows the drug to circulate through the systemic circulation and eventually find the target tissue, which is the cancer cells. Right. But the drug is still very targeted at the cancer cells. So from start to finish, from the IND to hopefully the approval date, how yeah. long do you think it could take to get this drug to market if, in fact, all the approvals and everything goes through? So if everything goes well uh, and the FDA fast tracks the process, mm -hmm. uh, which it could, uh, because again, we are addressing cancers that have really not been uh, uh, treated effectively with current therapies. Uh, we're thinking five to six years, we should be able to have this drug approved by the FDA. And what is your perspective overall on the oncology industry? What can we look forward to in the next five to 10 years in terms of progress treating cancers? So there's been an explosion. I mean, I'm sure you're aware of, again, the immuno-oncology world. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we are just at the very beginning of this. Uh, and and uh, again, you know, we've seen this before in, in, the, in the cancer drug world, uh, whereby every time we identify a pathway that can be targeted, people think that we have found the cure for cancer. Sure. 
and then we realize that it's not a cure for cancer. So with immuno-oncology, I think, well, again, it's another leap forward, but I don't think it's going to be the cure for cancer. Uh, I think some patients uh, so far have shown durable responses, and some of them really get cured from their cancer, uh, but it's not applicable to all, uh, and you still have a vast majority of patients that do not respond. Right. So our approach is another weapon that is now becoming available. Uh, and, and again, I keep, I keep pointing out this issue of key hallmark of cancer because immuno-oncology is one, but targeting metabolism is another one. Uh, and this is an approach that has really not been exploited very much for therapeutic purposes, mm -hmm. but it has been used for diagnostic purposes. We've been relying on this very approach and this very concept of cancer cells generating energy through glucose, sugar metabolism, by using PET scanning. Mm -hmm. PET scanning is exactly something that uh, uh, looks at uh, when the tumors uh, uh, arise uh, using exactly that same concept of right. uh, early glucose uptake or early glucose consumption uh, detection. Well, it really certainly is fascinating the work that, we're, we're do that you're doing at the company, and we appreciate all those efforts that you put into it. Thank you very much for joining us at the NASDAQ Market Site. Thank you. For Small Pleasure. Cap Nation, I am Jill Melandrino.